That's my baby. Hallelujah! The Lord is good. Oh, God is good. Jesus is good. This is, but this is not my guy. This is not my Jesus. My superstar. Really hard. So that kind of sound where they just jingle and back and forth. Okay, now a couple of months ago, maybe six or seven months back, I went to visit my friend's church. And Pastor Hansen um, gave out some envelopes for a donation. And I took a $50 envelope, but at the time I did not have the money. And so I ended up misplacing the envelope, but I was going through some old bags and I found the envelope like maybe two or three weeks back. I went and got a $50 money order to put in there. Then I ended up misplacing the money order and I found it and I stuck it in the mail on Friday. Um, and I sent it to an address, I think it's in Arizona or California, and they received it the next day. But something was like pushing me, pushing me, like bless this man, bless this man. When you bless him, you are going to be blessed. And I was thinking in my mind, $50, that's not much of a blessing, but it's something that God was like pushing me to do. I did that, I sent it to him, um, that was Friday. Saturday they received it, received it. I had been fasting for a couple of weeks off and on. And then Sunday, I just woke up and I was praying to God because I'm like, Lord, I need a breakthrough. I need a miracle. There's so many things happening. And my heart had been changing to God. Like my heart started yearning for God. My worship is different. My friends think I'm crazy. I built an altar to God in my house. It has different quotations of the Bible there. Me and the kids would go there in the morning before school. We get to read our Bibles. We pray and praise to God. And I thought for a second, am I losing my mind or am I just experiencing my God? So I realized I was experiencing God. Now I started fasting and praying. I'm like, God, I need faith because I believe in God. It's the difference to believe in God and actually have faith in God. I needed faith. And God had been showing me different things. I have my journal here. Um, I was praying in December. I think it was December 13th of last year. And God was showing me so much. I was like, God, how am I supposed to do that? I don't even qualify to do that. Um, the type of person I used to be. Lord, if you put me on the pulpit to preach your word, ain't no telling how many devils going to stand up and be like, I know her. I know her. So... <laughs> I was like, well, I was shaking, but God, I'm, I'm going to share this with y'all. It was December 13, 2012, 11.58 p.m. God has shown me what he has made my life to do and what he has already done. He has allowed me to open up spiritual healing medical clinics in America and in Africa. He has allowed me to travel the world sharing his gospel and leading people into praise and prayer. He has entered into a covenant with my bloodline. He has protected and provided me with millions and billions to do his work. My God is good. He has spoken it and yes, it shall be. Amen. I wrote this down when I was writing it. I was feeling crazy because again, I believed, but my faith was not there. And so I started reading the Bible. I went to the book of Genesis. And I was reading how Abraham wrestled with the Lord, the spirit of the Lord. He struck him on the hip. But he was like, I'm not letting you go until you bless me. And so, oh, Jacob, thank you. And so that's how my mind was thinking when I was coming to meet Pastor Hanson. I'm like, I'm above this man. I caught him so many days in a row. And I'm thinking if this man is going to bless me, not knowing that it's the spirit of God is going to bless me. As soon as I walked in the door, um, Prophetess Mary, she said, my sister, my beautiful sister, and she just started prophesying, confirming everything God was already telling me. He sent this woman to speak it into me. So I was, but I was waiting for my, ble my blessing. I was waiting for it. And look at what God has done. Look at what he has done. Hallelujah. Amen. I was praying one day and um, Danielle, her mom, um, passed away years ago. 
young, when she was young, before I even met her. And when I did meet her, she was living with um, her dad. I don't know what happened. He dropped off to one of his friends' house, and he ended up, nobody think him. They, they heard from him, but nobody think him. But I was praying, and God told me to take her as my own daughter. Don't treat her no different. What I do for North, I got to do for Danielle. What I get one, I have to now get it two. And so God just keep blessing me with her. She is definitely a blessing in my life. Hallelujah. Somebody back to my church. to know that I called you to, to use you at this present time. And it's better for you to start what I ask you to do. I've given you the power. And you are still looking for clarification. The Lord said, I brought you here today to clarify it again. Okay. If you like to go for 30 years, you are still coming back to do what I ask you to do. Because you are walking around just like I'm, I'm, I'm just an ordinary person. Yes. You look yourself just at, but you are an angel walking on the surface of the head. You are an angel. Your name is Angel. You are Angel. And we just were looking there and we were say, what is your name by the way? He said, my name is Angel. Yeah. 